Okay, part two. Dang, I was supposed to whip this stuff up. I'm going to take it out like in globs and chunks, right? I'm going to start with, damn, and I knew it's going to be like the egg. Just like that girl told me in the other video. Mix it, froth it, wet your hair, then put it in. It gets messy. So this one is definitely going to be a messy, messy mask, which I so love and um, need. Huh. Natural beauty remedies can be messy. It has pros and cons to it. However, getting it in the scalp and letting it moisturize in your hair, no matter what type of hair type you have, if it's dry or not dry or greasy and either way, the only benefit your hair um, more healthy than a lot of these shampoos and conditioners that have a lot of chemicals in it. Like me being anti-relaxer, anti-straighteners now because a lot of that has got formaldehyde and that ingredient can cause um, increase your risk of cancer, breast cancer, cancer, especially with women of color. So it's so important to be careful what kind of chemicals you put in your body, on your body. However, this is natural, God made, avocado pear from the trees. And sometimes you get one that's not so perfect. You're not gonna eat it if it's not fit to eat. You don't wanna waste it. You don't waste a lot of these nature's blessings from God. They are made to have multi-purposes. I'm gonna have to clean this bathroom when I'm done, like getting it all over the place. Not really, just like a little bit mess in the sink. But um, right now, just gonna make sure I get all of this up in my hair and let it sit and moisturize very well. I'm gonna put the shower cap and the bonnet in my hair to preserve this hairstyle, not hairstyle, I mean to um, have this in my hair anyway. Let it sit, I'm gonna let it marinate. Like I said, marinate, moisturize properly my hair. And um, shower cap, can't go wrong to keep it up in there. Mm. Stay blessed, bless the mess.